talking about Hawaiian shirts. These are the shirts I wear when I'm on cruise cruises. I have a bunch of Hawaii, I have clothes that I only take on cruises since I don't, you know, I'm on cruise all the time. They don't really wear out, so I've been using these shirts since some of them since 2014. Um, you know, I do buy new clothes to take on cruises, but I already have a set area in my closet. Um, I've been mostly traveled on Carnival. I have had one experience on um, Royal Caribbean that was on my cruise to Cuba, and it was there. It was a ship that they had taken out of their mothballs or something because it was a small ship. Havana Harbor is not very big, so you can't get big ships in there. Um, but uh, I have been. I have been on MSC as well. So those are the three cruise lines I've been on. And today I'm going to compare <coughs> Carnival to MSC. <coughs> MSC is a fairly new line, but it's well funded because MSC is a company that has been doing shipping for a long time. They just decided to go into the cruise ga game, but they had advantage of their other startup cruise companies because they already have the money in the uh, shipyards to build the ships. So, <clears throat> MSC is not some small player on the cruise stage, even though they may not have as many ships as Carnival. Um, they are supposedly going to bring more ships over here. I know they have at least three of them here in the U.S. right now. They may have more. I haven't really checked. I've been looking to book a cruise because right now I can't afford it, but Anyway, um, I'm going to com compare the two and just give my thoughts on it. Now, I'm just one guy. You can't really just go by, well, this guy says, unless you're a guy who likes to cruise like I do, and maybe there's people out there. Some people like to hang out at the casinos. I don't. I'll go through the casinos. I put it a quarter in the slot machine a couple times. That's about extent of my gambling. I hang out in the bars though and I like the bars where you just kick back and have a drink and listen to whatever music, have a conversation with your partner or people you met. That's my type of bar hangout. I don't go to the bars where they're, you know, partying hard and young people dancing and whooping it up. That's not my thing. But most cruise ships have multiple bars so you know, there's the poolside bars. I don't really hang out the poolside, but I do go to those bars to get drinks. I do hang out in the shady area near the poolside sometimes on sea days. But I'm not really a poolside hangouter either. Um, you know, I, 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 I take cruises to relax. That's where I'm coming from. Now, if you're like me, then we have a lot in common. If not, you might still get some insight here. If you're a young person... Likes to cut the rug, you know. I may not have the experiences to give you a good outlook on on what 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 to expect on a cruise. Um, if you watch these different cruise channels, I watch Ship Life. I don't re I'm not like him. I'm more like the heavier set guy. Him and his wife used to do it. Now he does it. He does the cruise news. I can't remember his name or his channel offhand. Him I can relate to, but he's more of a casino hangout outer, and I'm not. So, you know, we all cruise differently. That's the point. But I'm going to give you my insight on Carnival versus um, MSC. And first, I'm going to talk about MSC. Now, first off, I'm just going to show some pictures of the ins inside of uh, the MSC ship. Uh, random pictures, um, different bars. And places I took, happened to take pictures of while I was on my cruise. Um, I think what I found from MSC, I thought their ship was cleaner. I have a bowling alley. I didn't go bowling, but, um, you know, I found that the decor I liked better than Carnival's decor. Um, it's a little classier. This is their theater. The thing, the theater, though, on their ship, you have to um make a reservation you can't just go to the theater like a carnival 
you just go first come first serve uh msc does a little difference you have to um get on your phone they have several different shows every night and you uh you make a reservation then they check your name or your card when you get on when you go into the theater so that's a sky bar that was kind of cool but it was it had it had a smoking section now here here i am walking around uh the ship late at night i'll always go through i'll film the ship late at night when nobody's around that way i'm not you know putting anybody else in my videos that's the best way to do it so i always get woke up in the middle of the night for one reason or the other and i'll just grab my uh little um video recorder and i'll just walk the hallways and if there's somebody working i'll avoid getting them in the picture msc i mean if you see that decor is so much better they, this is like a little shopping mall kind of thing they also have specialty restaurants down here and they have a really kind of cool thing um it was two levels one balcony over and uh you know, they had a chocolate shop, and they have, oh, the chocolate shop was unreal. Um, it's very European, okay? That's that's the biggest difference in Carnival and MSC is this more European guest, and it's got a more European feel. And, you know, this, when, you, when I went to the pharmacy to get my wife some medicine, and all the medicine was in a foreign language, I didn't know how to read any of it so they, they're supplied by uh, you know European I don't know what com what country the MSC comes out of Germany or Italy or something but anyway that that's the thing you look down there's even more little areas down there I think casino might be down that way uh, this is a little gift shop buy stuff so there has a lot of same stuff carnival does but it also has some different stuff it has a duty-free shop, you know, like all the cruise ships have. Um, you, in reality, all cruise lines are more the same than they are different. One thing I will tell you that MSC, they work their ass off clean that ship. Usually when I go on a carnival ship, I can run my fingers over something in my room and find dust. But um, not on MSC, man. It, it is an immac they're immaculate clean so if cleanliness is an issue MSC wins over carnival I wouldn't say carnivals doesn't bother me that there might be a little dust in the room I mean, in my house I could probably reach from arm length from where I'm sitting and probably get a finger full of dust I'm sure so I mean that doesn't really bother me but it might bother some um, they have a better drinking package than carnival uh, that that I that they do they have more options they have one where you just get you can have like Budweiser and Heineken beer and then well drinks and house wines and then they got ones where you get you know you can pick anything off the shelf kind of uh, one they have one I think that's just wine or something I don't know and of course they have the soda one which all of them have but uh, that you know. The balcony I found on MSC was a lot better than any balcony I've been on. Bigger. Their balconies are a little bit bigger than Carnival's balconies. And the room that I had, and I can't say that all the rooms were nice and big. This room was big. It would have even been considered a suite on some of the Carnival ships. I had a full couch. It had, you know, the bathroom was a uh, lot, lot bigger than the Carnival bathrooms. And the way the bathroom was set up was better. I mean, a big guy like me had no problem in that shower. Carnival, I got a little curtain, but, you know, I'm, I'm not fitting in that uh, shower stall as well. Um, they both have very good gyms. I didn't use a gym on this one. Um, but overall, I did like MSC. I would definitely go on it again. Um, and that's, that's part of my comparison. Now, let me get into Carnival. Now, the carnival, the balconies are a little smaller, but it's big enough. Me and wife will go have breakfast out there. Um, I love the alchemy bar. That's one thing I miss on any other cruise ship. 
I love the alchemy, alchemy bar. So that that car that's a big plus for me in Carnival. Uh, Carnival's not as elegant as some. It's, the decor is very nice. I'm not going to knock their decor. I'm just saying it's not as elegant as MSC's decor. This is a smoking area. The MSC has a lot more smoking areas and bigger smoking areas. They even have bars that have smoking areas. Whereas Carnival is just one little small area of the ship, not even the casino. So if you're a smoker, I would say MSC is a better ship to go on. Um, as far as the Carnival, I don't know. Or the casino, I don't know that much about. I can't really give you a good determination. The buffet, I would say they they both have. I mean, MSC has some very interesting items. They even had full ham shanks uh, in their buffet. Carnival has those like they'll have the teriyaki walk type place, and they'll have you know where they walk they cook your you pick your raw ingredients and they cook them for you like that. They have you know different. So I, Carnival might have a little more choices on the um, on their buffet, but uh, for breakfast, I really like MSC's um, breakfast because I like eggs over medium, and I didn't have to wait in line on Carnival. You had to wait in line with people getting their omelets, and omelets are more time consuming to make. I had to wait for several people getting their omelets before I can get my eggs over easy. Unless I want to eat the dining room. Where MSC, they have them already made. You just scoop them up with the spatula. And you already have. You don't have to wait in the line for the omelets. Which I really liked much better. Um, Carnival. A lot of people will take Carnival because they're points. You know, you, I'm a gold now. Um, you know, you go blue, gold. And then I think it's platinum and silver and diamond or something. I don't know. But you can actually transfer those on MSC and for a while they're running, I don't know if they still are, but they're running a thing where they would accept your points from other cruise lines. But um, that's probably just to get people to go on there and I don't know if they still do it. Um, Carnival has a good drink package. It's only limited to 15 drinks, whereas all the other cruise lines, you can drink as much as you want. Funny is that people get more drunk on Carnival than the others because they get the 15 drink limit. People want to get to that limit. Where it's all you can drink, you don't have no limit, you just drink when you want to. So that that's a that's a difference. I think Carnival made a mistake doing that. Um, they should have made their drinks unlimited. Because of the price you pay, you should get unlimited drinks. It's like almost 60 bucks a day. Um, so um, I think I like them both equally, but I think I really want to go on MSC again. But uh, that's what I have to say. So I didn't go into every little detail about uh, Carnival and about MSC. Uh, I found them more the same than different, which I would with any cruise line. Uh, they have plenty of things for kids to do on the MSC ship, so it's just as much family-oriented as Carnival. A Carnival has a lot younger crowd than any other cruise line, and, and Carnival also has a lot of loyal. There's people I've talked to that on, on Facebook groups that won't even go on another cruise line. They're 100% Carnival. Well, you know, to me that's stupid, but that's not stupid to them. Um, you know, be loyal to a cruise line, that's fine. I like to, you know, try different ones out from time to time. I'd love to try some of the other cruise lines. If I get the opportunity to do so, I'd probably do it. Um, would I take MSC again? Most certainly. Would I take Carnival again? Most certainly. The one thing Carnival has for me is that I like, I don't like to fly to a cruise line or to a cruise port, especially as unpredictable as airline industry is these days, <clears throat> especially now. But I've always driven to the port. And then I find parking. Some ports are easier to find parking than other. New Orleans has a lot of options. Where Jacksonville had a few options. Um, Orlando, which is also Cape Canaveral, doesn't have a lot of options. So I parked at the port. Well, that was the first time I parked at the port. And I, I like to just get out of your car, get your suitcase, you walk over to the dock and get on get 
you know, start your process getting aboard the ship. And uh, so, um, that that in itself is is I, I like that. It's a little more, but if you can afford it, park at the port. It's a lot better than parking at these uh, places where you have to crowd into a bus, <clears throat> get all your luggage on the bus, and crowd in there and have barely enough room, and then get over to the cruise port and get out of the van and or the little you know van basically, and get in get on there and go to the back get your luggage and head over. You know, um, but. Carnival is more convenient for driving because I like to drive to the port. Sometimes I stay at a hotel the night before. Sometimes I just get up real early, 4 in the morning, 3 in the morning, and drive there. I get up, up here and I can leave my house at 5 in the morning. I get to New Orleans plenty of time. Uh, a little earlier if I'm going down to Florida. When I was living in Georgia, I'd go down to Florida. I love driving to, to Florida. I love the feeling of crossing into Florida and seeing that welcome to Florida. The whole experience of going to the cruise is one of the most exciting parts of the cruise for me. You know, I'm leaving all my responsibilities at home. I'm going down to the port. I'm Traffic doesn't bother me too much, although I worry about being late, I guess. But once I get there, I don't care what kind of line there is on embarkation. Is embarkation the right word? When you get on, embark, and there's debarkation. Debarkation, I hate. Embarkation, I don't care how much. When, when the COVID restrictions are going on and all the things you had to go through to get on, I still didn't care. And then once you cross over that threshold onto the ship, man, from me getting up at oh dark 30 and getting in my car, I have the car already packed before I leave, we get us a cup of coffee and we go, you know, and, and before noon, I've crossed over the threshold onto that ship. And then I get my first beer, my vacation started, and hey, there's no greater day. That's the greatest day there is. You guys all have a good day and a better tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I hope you learned something and I hope maybe I had some insight.